Good evening. Key Fitzgerald inquiry evidence has been shredded by the corruption watchdog that was supposed to protect it. The Premier is demanding the CMC boss make a full public explanation. Political editor Cathy Border is at State Parliament. And Cathy, how did this happen? Well, Georgie, we're already aware of revelations that some of that protected Fitzgerald inquiry evidence has in fact for a year been freely available for anyone at the public to see at the state archives. When the parliamentary committee overseeing the CMC looked into how this could on earth happen, it soon became clear that there was in fact a second, more serious security breach. Hundreds of protected documents from that Fitzgerald inquiry probe into corruption in the 1980s have in fact been shredded by the CMC, destroyed by the CMC. The bitter irony here is that it was Tony Fitzgerald himself who recommended a criminal justice commission be set up to help clean up Queensland. The Parliamentary Committee Chair Liz Cunningham is furious about this. She summons the CMC boss Ross Martin to Parliament today to explain. Now what's become clear is the CMC knew about this in May last year and didn't, didn't tell the committee. The committee will carefully consider its options in relation to the lack of governance within the CMC and the lack of accountability in not advising the committee at an earlier time. That's Liz Cunningham, the committee chair. Now, the Premier wants Ross Martin to make a full public explanation on how this happened and what the ramifications could be. It could be quite serious. This is indeed highly embarrassing and a crisis for the CMC. And tonight, they are not commenting. Mm, thank you, Cathy Border at State Parliament.